Last time on Crew vs XCOM Enemy Unknown we actually had a somewhat successful mission where I managed to regain another rookie. Now previously it was going to bring me back in as another support because we needed a support, however I've just realised that you can't actually choose class, so once he gets promoted after his first mission or so, then he'll get given a class, and based on what class he gets given, I'll give him a name, so I'll replace him with one of the pre uh, bleh, previous members of the crew. So, I still have 8 days, I believe it is. Is it 8 days? Is it 8 days? Yep, 8 days until the armor's researched, until I get my satellite, and until the request from North America comes in. So I'm going to have to scan for activity and hope for the best. I really hope there aren't any abductions or any kind of panics. I want those 8 days to re request from Nigeria. Arc throwers? Uh, scientists? Uh, money or scientists? I think I want the scientists, actually, because I do kind of need scientists, so... Let's go to engineering. I should be able to afford it. I have a fair amount of money. So, heart thrower. Is that really worth it? It's like a hundred and a hundred and five for three scientists. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't know how long they take. I think I should be able to do it in time. So, there we go. I have three arc throwers, and I could also construct another satellite. I do have the money. So, yep. Fuck it. I'm making another satellite so I can launch that. Yeah, I know I don't have the capacity but it takes ages to build anyway so to do, 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 do. go back to the situation room in fact hold on where do i view the pending request where it is there we go so this should get my scientist there we go um, as i said this is the whole meta game it is important don't ever underestimate the importance of this if you don't have the right amount of money income scientists engineers whatever then you will fail it's not just if you lose your soldiers so five more days can i really do this or well, in fact seven more days i swear the satellites went up Come on, come on, come on. Ah, yes! Finally got the carapace armor. So I can actually finally live and be more risky. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Now what should I research next? Experimental warfare. I do want better weapons. I desperately want better weapons. More armor. I'm not going to get more armor. And the autopsy. I know, I know. No matter what I pick, people are going to be pissed off. They're going to say, oh, you should have picked that. Or you should have picked this. But... Uh, that's only four days, and weapon fragments is one of the basic fundamental research things, so I'm going to do that. Two more days until I can get the satellite, please. Oh my god, as soon as I clicked it. Okay, alien abduction sites. Very difficult, very difficult, difficult. Ooh, that comes with a support sergeant. Okay, yep, I've made my decision already. I do need engineers, but I'm not doing a very difficult mission. Ah, then again, they're panicking. I should really go for them, but I don't want to do a difficult mission. And if I get that, if I if I complete this mission, then I get another troop, so the, ch the challenge for this episode is going to be doing this mission. And I'm going to say I have to do it without anyone dying. I think that's going to be my challenge. So then I'll get a support, so then I can bring Evans, Uke, or Pocket back in, and I'll have another support, plus the troop from getting the rookie, who will turn him into either heavy and assault, or whatever he turns into. So hopefully by the end of this episode, I should have two extra recruits, hopefully. But goddamn, I know I should do that. But I really want to keep playing safe for now, so I'm going to go to Russia. So, time to choose my squad. I am going to bring the rookie on this mission, that is important. And I'm going to have pieces of sniper, Gubiak has for heavy, and Fluke as the assault. I swear Fluke has been on every single mission so far, but I'm not complaining. Right, I need someone with the arc thrower too. Should I give it to the rookie? I'm, he's kind of expendable, so... Uh, yeah, I don't want to throw Gubiak. Oh my god! I completely forgot, I completely forgot about the armor. I didn't even realise. How much does it... Oh, I've only got one credit. I really don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Carapace armor. Right, 15 hours, 10 engineers. Ah, oh, so I do need engineers. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. I need those engineers so I can get the armor. Otherwise, those 20, 30 days of research completely went to waste. That will also lower the panic level. And yes, it's a very difficult mission. And it means I won't get the support sergeant. But fuck it. I need to do this. I should probably not bring the rookie in because he's fresh meat. He's not going to be too useful. So another sniper or another assault. I like assault, so I'm going to bring Tide in. So I have an arc thrower, I have a medkit, frag grenade, and nanofiber vest. Two assaults, one sniper, one heavy. Let's do this. I think the challenge for this one is going to be similar to the last one, if not exactly the same as the last one. I'm going to keep all of them within 10 units of each other because that did honestly save me so much. And I think I'm going to add an extra challenge on top. I've got a lot of high ground here, so I'm going to make sure I have at least one soldier on the high ground when the rest are in a building. That way, it can make sure all the potential exits and entrances are covered. So, right. How can I get on the high ground? There's no ladders. There's a ladder over... I believe I can climb up pipes, so my first... 
my first action is going to be moving over to this building. I want to be careful of this building here, actually, so what I'm going to quickly do is send someone over to open the door. Yeah, it's going to be peace. So I'll send peace over and open the door, see if there's anything inside. Come on, please be lucky. There we go. Okay, there's three people inside, and it's those guys. Completely forgotten their names, but yeah, this puts me in a bad position. However, he is flanked. However, I can't take a shot. I need peace at the back. Right, how can I do this? Can he take a shot? 10% chance to hit, 30% chance, 10% chance. No, nope, don't want to do that. Ooh, rocket. Can I... Can I get an angle? Can I get an angle in there where I can hit all three of them? I don't think I can. The lamppost and the wall and... Yeah, there's too much in the way. Shit, that would have been so good. Ah, oh, okay. But I do really need to cover pieces back. Peace is somewhere where he shouldn't be. So should I retreat him back around the corner? In fact, should I retreat everyone? Because there's no, yeah, there's no cover here. I need to retreat everyone. So Peace is coming all the way back. Oh, in fact, I'm going to move the others before I move Peace. I can't have him next to cars because cars are explosive. I want to get someone on that door, but then there's a risk of more enemies being over here. This is probably one of the most difficult choices I've had to make so far. I can't go around the corner because there are windows. Oh, why is there no cover anywhere? I can't do a full retreat because these guys have the ability to move really fast. This is what I meant about cutting out thinking time. I do honestly spend a lot of time thinking. Alright, I'm going to have to go to the car first. And yeah, I'm going to this car park. That's where I'm going to go. There's a fair amount of cover there. The roof! Alright, that's it. I'm going on the roof. So let's move everyone behind this car. And then to the roof I go. But who am I going to move first? Okay, Gubiak, you can come behind there. Then Fluke, you can... Ooh. Fluke, you're going to have to dash. You're going over there. Peace, you definitely need to get the hell out of there. So you're going to go there. And Tide, you are... Oh, there's no cover anywhere. Tide, you're going over here. Then you can just go on Overwatch for now, I think. I don't like this. This is a really bad start. I'm in a really bad position against three enemies, which have great mobility like that. And more enemies. I think I'm going to lose everyone. Honestly, I think I'm going to lose everyone this mission. I want to retreat, but... Alright, okay, great. Three groups of enemies. There's no fucking way I can kill these guys. Four groups of enemies. Four group. This, and they're on the rooftop. They're on the rooftop. Gubiak, please. Please kill him. Is that... Nope. It did damage. It hit, but it didn't kill him. My luck is nowhere. Every single one of my units has been flanked. Oh, where's my extraction point? Where, how do I get... <laughs> Honestly, I can't... I can't do this. Where's my... I don't think I can escape from this mission. Am I destined to lose everyone? Oh, God. Okay, Fluke. Yes, you can get on the roof. Ah, oh, No, I really need to... I need to pull back even further. I can't go on the rooftop. Oh, but Peace is in such a bad position. He's right next to an enemy. How do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, I can't even dash him back properly. I want to... Uh... Okay. Gubiak, you have a rocket and a grenade. I could get rid of one enemy. Move him to cover and get rid of an enemy. How much damage does a grenade do? Free damage. Or a rocket. Oh, Jesus, this is so difficult. Who can you shoot at? 38% chance. Okay, I kind of want you... Can you get on the roof, actually? I could capture... I've, I've thought of an idea. I think it's only two thin men on the roof. I haven't got any vision. This is a really fucking risky idea. But no, I can't even stun him. And they drop poisonous clouds. But if there's two on the roof, then I can kill them both. I can run and gun and... Alright, Tide, this might very well be your death. This might very, very well be your death. But I have to do this. Um, okay, I want you at a distance so you don't get hit by the poison. I think you'll be safe there. Oh, at least I can see all the enemies on the roof if I do this, then I'll see if it's safe. And if it's not, then GG me. There's only one enemy on the roof. Okay, only one enemy, and I should be able to take down this guy. Yeah. I'm going to use my pistol in case I do need to reload at any point, so... 97% shot. Okay. 
Okay, if I miss this. If I miss this. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, thank God. Didn't miss. I even got a critical hit. And I don't think that poisoned him. Yeah, it was just up range. So now I can retreat everyone onto the roof. Jesus fucking Christ. That was tense as fuck. I'm going to run and gun again so he or Fluke can take a shot on someone if he's on the roof. So I kind of do want you spread out. I'm going to move you. Oh, but if I get him close, then I could try and take a shot on that dude. Yeah, I, I'm not too fussed about spreading them out because I don't think the enemy is using grenades at this point. So if I run Fluke up here, I can take shots on the person next to Peace and hopefully save Peace. Come on, can you do it? Can you do it? 69% chance. Not exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to move Peace first and then I at least know Peace is safe. Should I move Peace to the car? Yeah, that way he's in full cover. Can he take a shot with a pistol on his second turn? Well, uh, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Can I do a shot with a pistol? Okay, so I can finish this guy off with a pistol if Gubiak, if, sorry, if T Fluke doesn't manage to shoot him. So, come on, please, Fluke, please, 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 please. There we go, okay, good. That's two enemies down, I haven't taken any damage yet. Emphasis on yet. I still need to move back. I really, really need to move back. So, I'm going to retreat Peace back to... It's so annoying how I can't get around the corner. Okay, I'm going to keep Peace in full cover, and can I throw a grenade over here? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to kill this alien around the corner. So that's three of them got... <sighs> Wait. Uh... Okay. Can you use grenades after moving? I think you can. I'm fairly sure you can. I just don't want them grouped up. I want him to be able to move much more. So I'm going to go here then for a grenade. Oh, God. This is tense as fuck. Grenade, I don't think it has any chance of this. So that alien... Yep, he's definitely dead. And that's part of their cover blown away. Now, peace... I know it's only a pistol, but you're going on Overwatch only. Oh, you could hunker down. No, he doesn't need to hunker down, does he? Uh, double cover bonus. But he's already in full cover. Does it double full cover? That is something I honestly do not know. But I think I'd just rather have you on Overwatch right now. I know there's still a lot of enemies. I encountered four groups. And there's still a lot of enemies lurking, so I need to be careful. It may have been a good first turn, but it's far, far, far from over. Now, peace. With your sniper, can you actually do something? Can you... 38% chance. That's really not too good. I don't like that at all. Can I get you on the roof? Yes, I can. So, I'm going to move Peace over here. Yep, I'm moving Peace all the way back. And, yeah, he's out of range of overshot. Now, Gubiak. Gubiak, you can... Okay, Gubiak's going to attempt to shoot this guy. Can you do it? 27% chance to hit. That's really not good. That's not good at all. Should I stick him on Overwatch instead? Or I'm going to stick him on overwatch. That way, if the guy comes close, he has a higher percent chance to hit anyway. Now, Fluke, I want you... I'm not going to spread you out too far, but I'm going to move you here so you have cover from two directions and you have a bit more range. Then I'm going to stick you on overwatch and Tide. Tide, you can also go on overwatch, I think. So then we'll wait for the enemy to make their move, because I'm in a good position now, at least a somewhat good position. And the fire is slowly spreading in that building, so that'll blow away cover and give me more vision. Now this guy's going to move, and Gubiak gets a reaction shot. Come on, Gubiak. Come on. Come on. Ugh. And I missed. God damn it. That means he's going to get close to Gubiak, which means Gubiak... Nope. He's doing the float in the air thing. And he's going to come down all the way over there. I don't think he can take a shot piece, but Gubiak is certainly thanked. I can get Gubiak on the roof. But can I shoot at this dude with anything? No, I can't. Okay, so Gubiak... Oh, that is tempting, but no, 90% chance. That's a 10% chance that will kill Peace, so no. I want to save the rocket if I get in a sort of really, really tricky situation. So it looks like I am moving everyone onto the roof, and I need to wait until the enemy comes to me. I'm doing the same thing with keeping all my soldiers together, and I am keeping them on the high ground, so using a certain level of tactics anyway. And I guess I'm just going to use Overwatch again until the enemy comes to me anyway. Nope. I don't think you're going to watch with your pistol, with your shotgun. Jesus Christ, this is so fucking tense, it's unreal. And there's the other enemies. I didn't know they were in that building, I thought they were in the one under me. Peace Fight is not going to hit. You've got such close range, and that is just... I don't even know why you're trying. Yeah, exactly. You're just wasting a shot there. There's no way you would have hit that. Such close range with a sniper and a brick wall in front of you. So where's that guy going to go? Oh, he's coming up. And I've got two reaction... I should have two reaction shots. Come on, free damage with a shotgun. 
Why well, am I getting so unlucky with that? And fluke reaction shot. And it missed. And Gubiak, he dashed, so he's not going to get a shot. Which means I think that guy's about to shoot something. No, he's not. Ooh. Okay. That's actually much better than I thought. Definitely stunning this guy. No question about it. Uh, there we go. I completely forgot what those guys are called. They're called floaters. Okay, I know that in the future. I know I still need the other dude. I don't exactly need floaters, but I'm happy with a floater nonetheless. Now, where are the rest of the enemies? I need to reload that LMG, but until I know there's less enemies, I'm sticking everyone on Overwatch. And I'll reload when I get a chance, but I know there's at least two more groups right now, so I just want them to come into the open. Like that dude over there. He's going to take a shot, I think. Or did he use his full turn to move? Okay, peace. You should definitely be able to take this guy down. 58% chance. Ah, uh, fuck it. Come on, you can do it. Nope, that's, that's going to miss. That's, yep, that's going to miss. Okay, one shot down, three to go. These guys... Nope, Fluke's completely out of range. And... Tide? Can you do it? 22% chance. Don't like those odds. Don't like them very much, so you're going on Overwatch. And... Ooh, this should be higher. 47% chance. Okay, come on. Gubiak, can you do it? Can you do it? You can do free damage yet again. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now he's probably going to be able to take a shot at me, but I'm I'm in half cover. It's not great. I've still got high ground, so I'm, I'm not too worried. I don't think I'll get killed. Oh, I don't think I'm going to lose this whole this round. I fact, didn't I have someone on Overwatch? Yeah, I have Tide on Overwatch, so he can't move any closer. And the LMG, of course. Okay, switch to a pistol. Shit. Heavies don't have pistols, do they? Oh, God, that is a piss take. That is such a piss take. It, do you have a chance to hit with this? 50% chance? I, I like those odds somewhat. 1 in 2 chance, and he misses. Okay. Oh, what about Peace? What about Peace? Can you do it? All this trouble to kill one fucking guy. Okay, Peace is going to get... He's going to get the kill shot, isn't he? There we go. And the music's calmed down. So I think that's all the enemies who are aggroed, so to say. I think they're all dealt with. Which means I can finally fucking reload and calm down and hopefully get out of this terrible position. Oh my god. I did not expect this to go like this. I know it's very difficult, but encountering four groups of enemy in your first move. It wasn't even my first move. It was my... It was... I moved Peace in. I opened a door. And that happened. All that. Okay. Peace, you're coming over here to get the street. And I need to get some people on the ground level. Is there a ladder down? I'm going to scout the location up here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because there might be something up there. I, I would have that amount of luck, so you're going on Overwatch. No, I didn't want you on Overwatch. I wanted you to reload. Damn it. Well, Tide, you're going with him. You can dash. And Gubiak, you're just going on Overwatch for now. I know the music has calmed down, but there still could be enemies. Something might move towards me. Hopefully, I'll hear their location, because occasionally you can get... Oh. Okay. I didn't want them to be there. They're around this side of the building. They could be on the street, actually. Ooh, should I... Can I move him over there in one turn? I can move him here in one turn. So I'll see if I get any vision. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. So they must be inside the building. I'm going to switch you to your shotgun, and you can go on Overwatch. Then, Gubiak, once again, going on Overwatch. I like that position. That's a really good vantage point. And peace... You can reload, you need it, you've only got one shot in your sniper, then Fluke. You can come up here, see if there's anything up here. Needs to be nothing. Okay, it seems fairly clean up here, so you can reload. I really want to deal with this. I think there's two more groups of enemies. I've only killed one Finn man, so I know there's at least one Finn man. And I don't think I've killed any sectoids. I think I killed one sectoid, so there's a sectoid running around somewhere. Now, Tide, can I move you to the very, very edge? Just in case there's anything else. Nope, there isn't. Uh, so I need to somehow move these guys down. I think I'm going to move everyone over to this side of the building? No. Okay, Fluke, you're going to be the first one to go down. You've got the most armor, so... In fact, I really want to scout out the full area before I do anything irrational. Is there anything over here? Nope, nothing. There's another building over there. I could try and get out that roof. I just want to try and stick to the rooftops, because... The enemy has a really low chance to hit me up here. So once again, everyone's going on Overwatch until I find a decent way to get down, at least with one person. I just realised I'm splitting up my troops. Should not be doing that. Because, yeah, I should not be doing that. I'm sending Fluke back straight away. That was a terrible idea, because someone could have easily come around and killed Fluke. 
But is there felt someone coming? It must be under the building. But I can't go down without endangering myself, so shit. I need to go back to the ladder, I think. There's a ladder there. Yeah, there's a ladder there, so I'm going to have to go down at that point. So dash everyone over, put everyone in Overwatch, and then Fluke's going to be the first person to go down. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. And that's not really 10 units, but... Uh, okay, I'm going to... I know it's not 10 units, but they are on the same rooftop, so this is like my tactical position right now. In fact, I think that is 10 units. So yeah, I'm still following the challenge, somewhat. But all together, they've all got each other's backs. Uh, I, I don't know how many enemy, I don't know how many enemies are left. I've killed one, two, three, I think I've killed four. Okay, this is where shit goes wrong. Fluke, going down. Can I do it in one turn? I think I can. Question is, can I go back up? That's what I'm worried about. I'm going to regret this so much. I'm going to regret this so much. And... Oh, they're not even windows there. Okay. You can just go on Overwatch for now. I know I'm playing really fucking safe by putting everyone on Overwatch every single turn, but... In the building I'm currently standing on, there's about eight enemies or something ridiculous like that. And I know they could come out at any point. Enemy AI is unpredictable. They're not just going to stay in the same position. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, they are definitely in this building. So, Fluke, looks like you have a really fun job of opening the door and running the hell out of there if there's anything inside. I haven't seen inside this building. Uh, okay, first I'm going to look inside this building. Please. In fact, no, I'm going to open it next turn so I have a full turn. Again, sticking everyone on Overwatch. People are probably, probably getting so pissed off at how safe I'm playing this because it suddenly turned really slow after that intense fucking gunfight at the beginning. But honestly, I'm impressed I came out alive. I didn't think I would. I thought I was going to lose literally everybody. And this is the moment of truth. Fluke, open the door. And... One enemy? Is that all? Really? I can only see half the building, but... One enemy. It's a fin, man, so... Yeah. Uh, could I jump down the other side? Can I go the other side of that lorry? I could, and I would, but I can't split people up. So, Tide, you're coming over to help Fluke out. And you can go to the other door, I guess, in case anyone runs out. Yeah, you're going to the other door. And, peace. You can't really do anything from there. Uh, same goes for Gubiak. There are windows. There aren't any windows on that side. So, Gubiak, you're going down, standing the other side of the door. So, that way you can fire a rocket in as soon as Tide opens it. But right now, seeing as there's one enemy that's seen me, I'm going to stick everyone on Overwatch in case he decides to run out or alert his buddies. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do. He's probably going to take a shot at Fluke. Fluke's in full cover. No, he's only going to suppress Fluke. And he also opened... Imagine if there was an enemy behind that wall. That's like some next level... Wow. Wow. Li literally, what? Come on, please tell me I can... That is a fucking joke. I... Can I at least kill one of them? I think I can get an angle there. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I make a joke about this. Probably one of the most unlikely things to happen in the game, and that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, back to the high ground I go. <laughs> I knew that was a terrible idea. Okay, you're going all the way up there. And he's suppressed, but he's running into cover, so how does that work? Thank God it missed. Do the act. Oh, you blew away the cover. And they're on Overwatch. Oh god, Fluke. Oh god, Fluke. Only four. Thank god he's holding the armor. Thank god. Now, Fluke, just get the hell out of there, please. You have been in every single battle so far, and you've never been shot at until then, so... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I've also lost vision on these guys now, so... um, I'm going to have to do this from memory. Uh... There it is. It's there, I believe. That's where I want it. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, this will wipe out two of them. And I need to get just the right angle, which is going to be difficult. Again. Oh, is it? No, it's not there. I had it a second ago. Where the fuck's it gone? Is it there? Okay. This should do it. This should kill two of them. If it misses, probably going to kill two of my guys. But there's a 10 percent. Why did he open the door? Wait, there we go. A fucking A. He got to achieve. I got an achievement for that. I didn't even realise. Uh. Okay. Does that mean... Should I carry on retreating? There's still one enemy there. There's still one enemy here. Now... 
tide. Aha, uh -huh. I've got an idea. Tide. Wait, is it tide I want? Or is it peace? It's tide I want, so he can move here and take a shot at the Fin Man. 50% chance. Come on, tide, can you do it? He's gonna miss. Miss another shot. It, yeah, he missed a shot, but he's still in full cover. So, peace still being absolutely useless on the roof. I really wish I was on the rooftop over here instead, but there's no way I can. There's a ladder there. Ooh. It's a bit too late for me to realise that. So you're going on Overwatch for now. Ooh, no, you got a medkit. So you're coming over to Hill Fluke. You're going right... Yeah, I can do it in one turn. So you're going here and healing Fluke. So Fluke's back to full health and I can get him back in the battle. And who have I got left? I think that's my full turn. Gubiax in a bad position right now because there's a Finn Man in the building underneath. And he's probably going to take a shot, Gubiak. But he's in full cover. I think the worst that will happen is... It... It will either hit and do 4 damage, so Gubiak will still live, or it will blow away his cover. Both is kind of bad, but at least he's not dead. What's he going to do? It's, he's going to... I forgot they could do that. I honestly forgot they could do that. So, Tide's poisoned. And yet, he blew away the cover. So, Gubiak, 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 Gubiak. What am I going to do with Gubiak? I need to kind of move Tide back if he's poisoned. Gubiak, can you take a shot? 47% chance. Nope, don't like those odds. So... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, damn it. Could I? Yes, I could. Right? Tide, you are running and gunning all the way over here. And you're taking a shot at this Finn man who should get flanked by it. You should be able to get the flank bonus? No. Why not? He doesn't look like he's in fucking cover. Where's this not working? I should kill him. Close range, 5 damage. There we go. Well done, Tide. Thank God for a critical hit. Now, one guy left. How can I do this? I can run Fluke back in, but I can't run and gun. But I can get him in full cover. I mean, I can get him in half cover anyway. Uh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna do this. So, Rage, you're taking a shot. No impact, sorry, Gubiak. You're running there, taking a shot. Can you, there we go. 47% chance, that's gonna hit. That's, yes! Did I do it? There's an enemy left somewhere. This is where some enemy comes out from nowhere and kills my entire squad. Well, at least now I can hopefully move peace over here. Is it where I want him? Yep, I want peace over here. And who else is left? Captain Fluke. You can just go on Overwatch for now. I need to wait until I hear where the enemy is coming from so I can get my squaddies into a tactical position, I think. Where, where's peace? Is he still up there? Yeah, he is. Okay, Fluke's on Overwatch. Everyone's in a somewhat decent position. Something's breaking, no idea what. And I have no idea where the enemy is coming from. How long does the poison last for? He's panicked. Thank fuck that missed. I hate panic so much. Alright, so they're in this building. So as soon as I fucking move peace over. Uh, okay, I want peace back. Peace, you're going all the way back over to the other building. He's had a really eventful day, hasn't he? I don't think I can even move him back. Well, Gubiak, you're going in full cover right there. And you're going on Overwatch. And peace. Please, can I move you back to the other building? Can I? Yes, I can, I think. Is that? Oh my god, this is so awkward sometimes. It just doesn't... Look, why can he move there, but he can't move there next to the wall? Can he move... <sighs> that is so annoying. Fluke, you can... Hmm. Fluke, you can... You can go there for now, so you're in full cover. Who else is there? There's Peace who's still moving. But... There we go. Okay, turn over. And... Oh, so they're not in that building, they're in that one. Did you hear something? Yep, I did hear it. Oh god, is he gonna die of poison? How long does poison- I need to- uh, I need to end this in three turns, otherwise I'm gonna lose him. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Is that full cover? Yes, that is. Okay, Gubiak. This is for Tide, so Tide doesn't die. Nope, no enemies. Oh fucking great. Overwatch, you can go on Overwatch. Peace. Hmm... Peace, you really can't do much. Tide. And Fluke. Okay. Fluke, I want you on this door. And Tide, I want you on this door. Oh god, Tide needs to reload desperately. Oh god. I think I should get Peace over here. So he can shoot inside. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Peace, you're going all the way down there. You're losing your high ground bonus, but you're staying with the others, and you're 
having a line of sight on the enemy. I really don't like this. I've got three turns to finish it before Tide dies. Oh, why doesn't poison wear out? I use the medikit on Fluke, so I can't. Oh wait, he didn't get hurt by poison that turn. I think it's worn off, which means I can reload, and you can go on Overwatch, and you can get in a better position, which is probably this door, and you can go on Overwatch. So we're waiting for the enemy to make their move again, at least until I'm fully prepared. Should be next turn. So, are they on the other side of the building? I think they are. Oh, time to start busting open doors until I find them. So, no, don't fire the door, just open it. So, who's inside? Nobody! Great. You see, the worst part of this game is when you don't know where the enemy is. Oh, hello. It's a single sectoid. That was, um... Not gonna lie, not as bad as I thought. Should I try and capture him? It's awfully tempting. Nope, because there could be more enemies, fuck it. Um, it's... There we go, he's down. Is that it? Okay, what a fucking anticlimactic end compared to the beginning. It felt like it should have been the other way around, but I killed 10 fucking aliens on a very difficult mission and did not lose anybody. I think that's deserving of bringing someone else back into the group, so I'm going to recruit a new rookie. And next mission, hopefully, I can get the two new rookies. Uh, to, I can get them promoted to find out what rank they are, or what class they are. Sorry, I'm so worn out. I was fucking exhilarating. I love it when a game does that, though. And, yes, three promotions. Two people wounded, which means I probably won't be able to use them in the next mission. I'll be the first. Yeah, I'm a name Cash. Captain Cash Fluke. Okay, let's swap these promotions. Gubiak, you can have... Um, hello, targeting. Shooting at or suppressing me. Ten aim bonus. I like that, but... Oh yeah, I really, really like that. It means you can fire twice in one turn. I'm sorry, people are probably going to have a go at me, but I want that. Definitely want Bullet Swarm. Now, Fluke, you can have Forces of First Reaction Shot against this unit's miss, which means he can run safely. Or 30% critical chance against adjacent targets. Adjacent meaning a straight line, I'm guessing. Bonus declines with distance from a target. A 30% critical chance bonus, or... I think that would be more useful, actually, seeing as he's an assault. He's running around a lot and being in bad positions. Now, Tide, you can have... Yeah, I want five defense, not five critical chance. I don't understand what cri critical chance... I know what critical chance is, but I don't understand why people would pick that over defense. Interrogate floater? Please yep, my yep. To the like me. Commander. I'm a genius. I'm amazing. Workshop. I can build a workshop, which adds five engineers and resource. Oh, yeah, I get uh, a refund on resources... That's probably going to be really useful, actually. And I decreased the panic in Japan by two. And I've got four engineers. Jesus Christ, this came out so much better than I expected. Can I build the army yet? Have I got enough engineers? Nope, I still need, I think it's one engineer or something like that. Yeah, I've got nine engineers, so... Uh, I'm going to build a... I need money. I can't build anything, never mind. I need to quickly work out what I'm going to do, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Yeah, I really can't do too much right now, but I'm going to be able to hire a soldier, because I haven't got credits to hire it, but I can't do it right now. So, in two days, I'll be able to fulfill the request from North America, and in eight days, I'll get my monthly payment. So then I'll be able to get the armor, I'll be able to recruit a new rookie, and I will be able to build a... I think it was a factory? What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? What is it? Where? Why am I... There we go. I will be able to build a workshop so I can get engineers to build the armor, and also probably another satellite uplink so I can launch more satellites. But that's all going to be in the next episode. This one went really fucking well, I'm glad I took the risk at the beginning and it really paid off. So next time I'll be able to get my monthly payment and actually work on, or work on progressing instead of just fucking taking risks.